Hi, so I'm gonna show you this really spectacular gold body chain. Okay, so this body chain is in the British Museum in London, England, but it came from the Byzantine Empire, they think. And this is um, assumed to be around the year 680. Um, and what these gold body chains represented was uh, you would think it would be female sexuality that is what we would symbolize that as today because it would go across the chest and over the hips and that's the kind of like shape and style that we have seen from females before in history but they think that this particular body chain probably was changed the symbolism had changed to represent male authority and power due to portraits being showed by the Persian Empire but we're not a hundred percent sure so it could be either or and because of the chain's large size they estimate that maybe this chain instead of being for an actual man or woman could have been for a statue probably of Venus or Aphrodite because body chains like this were very popular depictions to be on those kind of statues of the Greek and Roman goddesses and I chose it because for one it's very cool and beautiful like it looks honestly like it could be stylized today to be worn today body chains are coming back in style and I think that's interesting how fashion and art just kind of repeats itself and the cycles repeat and things that were popular then become popular hundreds of years later and in the middle ages those were popular they could either be i think it's also interesting that they could have either been a symbol of female empowerment or of male empowerment depending on how it was made who it was for and i think that's interesting that in the middle ages there was something that could go across gender roles